Now let's see this example where we have three quadratic equations here. Let's see whether we can solve it by using the quadratic formula. And let's start with the first one. Uh, actually, we don't need to copy the questions as long as we know the values of the coefficient that that is in there. Okay, now uh, this equation is already in the general form. Eh? Okay, therefore we can straight away tell the coefficients a, b, and c. Um, the coefficients of a is 1. Eh? This is 1x squared. So therefore we write uh, a equal to 1. And the coefficients of the x term on b is equal to 4 b equal to 4 and uh, this is our c and uh, c equal to negative 11 and the quadratic formula x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a so this is a quadratic formula and let's plug in uh, a b and c into this formula so negative uh, our b is 4 so negative 4 uh, plus minus square root of b square b is 4 so we become 4 square minus 4 now when you plug in the value into the formulas uh, uh, preferably to put the brackets with it okay so uh, we put the brackets and our a equal to 1 and our c equal to negative 11 okay let's make this longer okay and as this uh, whole things divided by 2 a and a equal to 1 so therefore this is a negative 4 plus minus square root Okay, now 4 squared equal to 16. 16. Negative 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by negative 11. So this becomes positive 44. Positive 44. Negative multiplied by negative, we get positive um, over 2. Eh? Over 2. And uh, we have negative 4. Now, if you want, you can split them uh, here. So this is negative 4 over 2 positive negative the square root of now 16 plus uh, 44 is equal to 60 60 divided by 2 eh? okay so this become negative 2 eh? okay plus minus um, if you want you can write this as half eh? half square root of 60 and uh, this is the answer okay so this is a solution for the first quadratic equation.